Most of my life was spent in clinical academia. Seven years ago now, I left to join GSK, initially to head drug discovery, but now to head R&D. So I had a big change from uh, a career which I thought I'd do all my life, and uh, I loved uh, being a clinician, being a scientist, and, and leading an academic department. Uh, to one moving into a sector which I didn't know much about. And it was a fantastic challenge, a fantastic eye-opener, and I haven't regretted a day of it. My job now is not that dissimilar from my job in academia, which is to get the best possible people, give them the best environment to be creative, and try and foster interdisciplinary research. I think any clinician scientist who thinks they might be interested in taking a leap into industry, come and talk, come and visit us or somebody else, whoever, just try and understand what it means. Look at some of the publications and think, why is it I want to do that? What are the interdisciplinary skills I might learn? And you don't have to make a decision to say, I'm going to be in industry forever. That's the key point. It's absolutely critical. From our perspective, what percentage of the world's scientists live within GSK? We've got 10,500 scientists, it's 0. 0.000 whatever percent of, of, of all the world's scientists. Why would we be the people that know everything? We can't possibly be. So it has to be a scientist-to-scientist -scientist interaction. We're, we're much more outgoing, much more interactive, much more open to sharing. And I think that's crucial because this is a difficult business. So encouraging our scientists to go to meetings, to publish, to interact is a key part of what we do. So I think it's normal you know, early in a career to think, well, you know, am I ever going to be attractive to some employer somewhere? Uh, and I think, of course, as you get older, you realise that the whole future depends on that generation coming through and they're deeply attractive to get. So I think people need to take risks. They need to go out and sort of make themselves known. They need to say, you know, I'm prepared to do something a bit different in order to get on. And they shouldn't be, in my opinion, too bound by what the current rule book tells you you should do. You should go and do something you want to do, you should take a risk, and I think you will be hugely valued. Clinician scientists are a very rare breed worldwide, and the UK does it quite well. Meetings like this with clinician scientists coming together, I think it's great because they're going to learn from each other. They're going to see what each other are up to, they're going to see how each other use different approaches to answer questions. They're going to meet senior people, they're going to learn what they did right, they're going to observe what they did wrong, and I think this is crucial. What I'd love to see at a meeting like this is actually some clinician scientists from industry here as well. Then I think we've got a real potential to get the interaction going.